Hello everyone and welcome back to Create a Survival. We just came from a... well, that's close. Uh, we just came from a um, fine collection. Because today... I mean, not... well, yeah, sort of. Not now. It's getting night! Oh no! Ah, that's better. It's daylight, no longer night. Best thing ever. Okay, so what I was saying was that today we are gonna build a workplace for the lumberjack. Because for all the buildings we need to build, I mean, of course, not everything will be built out of wood, but we need wood. And we need lots of it. And chopping them all by hand, that takes a long, long time. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a sawmill, a log storage, and a small house for the lumberjack, just because it will look nice, I hope so that we can have a wood production going on of oak and birch which will help us with gathering all the materials so i've got here some materials i've got some wood so oak logs planks also a little bit of birch uh don't don't look at the vines uh i've got some dirt which we're gonna need first because we need to do a little bit of terraforming well and there you have it even though I just realized that thanks to the platform, you don't even see that much. Yeah, that's a uh, good job, me. We also made a little uh, pathway, by the way, that was uh, very much lacking. And now we have a pathway towards the uh, sawmill. That's at least what's going to be. There's going to be pillars, roof thingy, and there will be a saw here. And this will be a place maybe for like some logs or maybe a crane. Uh, that move some stuff, I suppose. Like, move them from, like, when they come over here. And then they like, beep, bleep, and, like, just put it over there. And then people from there put it in the log storage that's gonna be there. So, I don't know yet if I should, uh, use strip logs or normal logs. So, for now, I am just gonna use normal logs to build. And I believe... Yeah, I've got no idea. So, let's just... Oh. I already made one mistake. <laughs> right, so that's one, two, three, four, five. And, um, ow. There's this perfection. This is how you build, right? <laughs> You're constantly hurting yourself while trying to build. Oh, there we go. Yep. Um, oh. Is that, is that it? I think that's it. And on the fifth one is where I'm gonna have a beam... A log beam. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Just like this, having basically two arches in a way. And then we're just gonna connect both of them together with a massive uh, beam <laughs> across. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, so yeah, don't worry, there will be support afterwards. But for now, we're just gonna make the frame. And then obviously we have something like this. Now the question is, uh, how- oh wait, I can use those things. You know, I keep forgetting that these things exist for some reason, even though I, I, I walk with them in my inventory the entire time, but I tend to forget. Don't ask me why or how that is, but uh, it just is, somehow. Right, anyway, I'm just gonna use some staircases for a little bit of uh, support. And also a nice color change and detail thing. Oh no! They're supposed to be turned around like that, exactly. And then we have fences and we just plop them next to the pillars. Just to have uh, some kind of detail thing. I also don't know, I just like the way it looks. Right, so yes, I just looked it up real quick. It's indeed three on each side. Whoop, whoop, and then one block in from the pillar basically there's also three there you go all right now that ow, we have the frame right here yes there are no beams going from that way to that way i actually have no idea why i didn't do that maybe i can still change that i think this works right and then we actually have the entrance maybe here where, like, this is then where the saw is, like, going up and down, up and down, up and down. And then, just gonna be like, uh, oh, do we have, yeah, we have another stack, okay. That's gonna be five, right? Five. 
Um, that very much doesn't add up to the... P oh my goodness, I can't handle this. Nope, that is not what we're going to do. All right then. Because that's just going to look weird. I'll, I'll figure something out. And then you have something like this. I just still need to do the roof part. And that is where we actually needed the vines for. Because what I want to do is I want to make some mossy cobblestone slabs and mossy stone brick slabs. And use that as the roof. Plus, I also want to use moss, uh, moss blocks. But I don't have those yet. So I also want to get those. And I believe I need to find a lush cave or an azalea tree. So, uh, according to my sister, azalea trees are supposed to spawn randomly also in forests. So I might go out soon that way just to see if I can find one. So before I do the roof and stuff, I think I will first build... Oh, uh, hello, creeper brothers. I will first build here the lot storage. And are you literally coming towards me? Don't you dare blow up my building. Just so you know. Ooh, okay. Aisha. Aisha. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. There you go. Okay. Hopefully they, don't, they won't take revenge on that. So let's just sleep before anything bad happens. All right. It's a new day. And we are going to go on a trip to go to the forest to find an azalea tree. Hopefully getting a moss block or two. Hopefully more than that. I've made the storage, I mean, yeah, the storage, is this storage for logs? It's log storage. Uh, of course, it's missing a roof just like that one. And that's exactly why we need to go on a trip. I do know, or I think I know, if I remember correctly, the azalea tree looked like an oak tree in a way, but with purple flowers. That was, I believe, the case, right? So now the question is, how rare are they actually? Because that, I do not know. That is actually looks like a pretty deep hole over there. Why is there a random block here? I mean, I take the dirt for some reason, but... Uh, probably an enderman's doing. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how big this forest is. So uh, I'm gonna come back to you peeps when I have found something of interesting. Hopefully an azalea tree. Well, so far, no azalea trees, but I did find a village, though, with which looks like a very nice area for a port. So, hey, uh, one day we could, like, make a harbor here. Some docks, some ships, like, going in and out. That would be very cool. Expand on the village. Well, 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 would you know? Oh, you know what? Uh, don't mind if I take these, because that gives me uh, quite some food. Which comes in very handy. Or maybe as a farmer. That I could trade this in for a few emeralds. That would be like the best thing ever. You're a farmer. Hello. You have... Oh, you need, you need carrots. Really? Carrots. Great. Carrots. It needs carrots, people. You don't have a job either. All right, then. No, wait. You're the one that just doesn't want to work. That was the thing. Why? Who came up with the idea to build a farm in the water? Yeah, these, these peeps are weird. That is a very nice ocean, though. Look at... There's a fish. Hello, fish. But look at that ocean. Oh, this is a nice ocean. We can make docks here, especially right there. Looks very nice for that. Hello, you are the cleric. Wait, what? Do you've got two clerics in this vi in this village? And no chests. You just don't do chests, apparently. I mean, sure. Hello. Do you have... I hear squeak, 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 squeak. <gasps> Hello, Degu. Oh, dang it. I should have brought scissors so I can give them some grass. Now, mm, okay. We have to keep in mind that we need to return here. Uh, hello, cleric. You've got a brewing stand. You know how annoying it is to get those? So, um, <clears throat> don't mind if I take that. You sure don't mind? I hope at least. You are a cartographer. Oh, we have a chest with one single bread. Ah, yes. That is, um... That's the best loot I've ever gotten in my entire life. I forgot my boat. 
I seriously forgot to bring a boat. That's very well done for me, I suppose. Right, so our journey continues. We have a village over there where we can trade with some people once we have... I didn't see anything like carrots or that kind of stuff, so... Can't get those, sadly enough. What are you? You are savannah trees. Never mind. Just full of savannah trees and lots of rivers. I like that. It looks nice. Okay, how about... We're gonna knock over a tree. Let's make a crafting table out of this. What do I need with wheat seeds? I don't want that. Boom. And we need like this. Make a boat. Boom, we've got a boat. In search for an azalea tree, we bark on an expedition across the rivers to find a tree. And what? Um... He hello there's a village like right over there and you're telling me there's another village just gonna go a little bit closer to uh, well they've got a dock that's not fully connected so let's just uh dock right here in this area boom like that i suppose these villagers just very much love their water farms that's that's really the feeling I'm getting because they're everywhere. Hello, people. Are you traders? You're a cleric. How many clerics are there in your village? Looks like a lot. What are you? You look like a plant that grows in. I don't actually have no idea. One stem. Oh wait, that could be a melon or a pumpkin. Well, they've got some melons over there, so I th think. That, uh, it's gonna be a melon farm. We're trying to find an azalea tree, but all we're finding is villages and water farms. Well, there goes your, um, farm. Oh, okay. Um, I'm sold. Hold up, I know my boat is over there. I could have gone into this, but oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Lots of resources. Very nice. Okay, bye. Lots of resources. Very nice. And also, of course, very much creepers, skeletons, and zombies and all that snaps. But, ooh, this also has a lot of potential. Just imagine seeing, like, making, like, a whole mine out of this. Like, with all, like, mine cars and, like, rails and structures in here that would be so cool oh yes i found a saddle remember we actually tamed a horse <laughs> oh wow we got a saddle now we can finally ride the horse well that's amazing let's sleep as well so it's, it's daytime again oh yes and that's actually a pretty nice view to wake up on like having a little farming area on top of a ledge with stupid long grass and no azalea tree for us to find. <sighs> Perfection. Um, you okay over there? He's just standing very much depressed on the roof. Or he's just enjoying the sunrise with his back to be exact. Yeah, I know that makes sense. You know, I've started to learn in Minecraft that when you're in search for something you like really want, you basically get everything, except for the thing you want. Because this is now like, what, the third village that I came across? And there we've got a pillager outpost. Which, by the way, will literally be the death of me. But in a way, it also sounds like something I really want to do, because I've never done that. And it looks actually quite fun, and I don't even see any pillagers. Huh. Well, uh, ooh, that looks pretty cool. Uh, so I guess I, uh, you know what? I actually, if I just do this and uh, I do that and then make a screenshot like that. There you go. That looks really cool. So here we've got a villages outpost. I mean, a pillages outpost. But I don't see any pillages unless they spawn in. When I am getting close. Come on. Yo, no. That. Okay, that's two of them. Was a bit of a uh, 
I mean, there's wood. It's dark oak wood, right? Don't mind if I take that as well. Because that wood, oh my. I'm kind of scared. And also not. It's... Whoa. Uh, hello? It's a tower and it's basically no one. Okay, well, let's see what we have here. A bottle of enchanting. Don't mind if I do. Some wheat. Nice. A crossbow. Some more dark oak and a, and a, and a goat horn. What do I need the goat horn for? I don't even know what it does. Does it something? I mean, I don't know. What happens if I... If I can I use it? Ah, yes! I like that. Oh, no! I should not have done that! Nope, 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 no! Oh, no more! Okay, bye! I'm out of here! Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, why? Why did I jump out of the tower? Oh, I am such an idiot! Oh, no, they're coming for me! Oh, take me all the eggs. I mean, give me all the eggs. Ah, save me! You seem... Blue and passive, because you don't want to bite my face off. Oh, please let me know. What can I do with those? I expected way more pillagers, though. I mean, it is a nice view on the village. I give him that. That's great. It's nighttime again, as always. Oh, there's still one over there. Hello. I, I'm on your tower. But no azaleas whatsoever. Would you look at that? Oh, I'm so happy about this. Uh, only one problem though. Do I need anything to collect it? No, I don't! Moss block. There you are. We have our first moss block. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Also, don't mind me taking some of the iron, because we're gonna need a lot of that. It only took six billion years, but uh, we finally have some moss. It's, it's crazy how long it took to get that. <laughs> Why? Of everywhere I went, how was there no azalea tree? I just, I just don't get it. But at least here we now in a sort of lush cave kind of thing. Didn't, doesn't look that big though, but hey, uh, I'm not complaining. I went back home though, cause uh, I had a bit of too much inventory, like it was uh, full and there's some red stone. Oh, there's a diamond. Oh, okay. Look, look at this. Look at this. This is going to be my first diamond. Look at this. Wait, it is with an iron pickaxe, right? I believe so. Uh, oh, there's more. And look, our first diamond. Oh, yes. Oh, I take that three. That's enough for a pickaxe. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, by the way, that actually will come in handy for if we need to gather some obsidian. And we are back from our little adventure. We got 11 diamonds in total. 11. This is insane. We got a whole new batch of redstone. We have a stack and a bit of moss blocks, which is very nice. Uh... One day I'll have to get better at this sorting part of this. All right, here we are. I've already made some mossy cobblestone and mossy stone bricks. I now need to make slabs out of them. I don't even know how much I need, so I'll just make for now uh, 60, I suppose. And for now, I'm just going to put the moss blocks here. And later on, we're going to uh, change a few things. But for now, we're just going to place that entire row with it. All right. So now we have the basic in. Uh, but don't worry. We are definitely going to change this up a bit. But for now, the bases, I just have... I actually have no idea why I put these ones on top here and that one down there for a base. I really don't know. But we're going to we're gonna change some things. So, first of all, I need to make a new pickaxe. That, that's one of them. Uh, so, let's just remove that one and place that one over there. And just remove these two. A lot of blocks later and they finally have roofs. Yeah, because I won't say a roof, but there are two separate 
thingies. I forgot my building blocks. Good job, me. But as you can see, uh, I used to... I mean, the moss... I'm just gonna do this, hold up, so you can see it better. Right, so there we have some moss blocks, the bricks, and the cobble slabs. Same as there. I actually quite like that combination with the wood. And there you see already a little bit of tinkering something that I've done. There goes the, the log back and forth, back and forth. Something I would like to do is actually make this work. Like the saw going up and down, up and down. And for that, I do need to get some stuff that is from the nether. So we have to actually go down there. Uh, also, if you look at this, this is how it looks down here. Uh, I know this goes a bit way too fast, but I don't have brass yet. And I need brass to get the... Wait, what was it called again if I type in railing? It's the controller rail. That's the one to make it sure that it goes slower than this. Uh, here will be a redstone clock. That will have to do with that thing moving up and down. But I need brass. And to get brass, I need, uh, I believe, a heating thing. I forgot the word, what it was called, but it has to do with, like, blazes. Here I already have quite a lot of things, and I also forgot that I need something else, like this pulse for brass, and if I click on the brass, then I need uh, a blaze burner, that's the thing I need. And I also need electron tubes, and to get that I need polished rose quartz, and to get that, I need quartz with redstone. So we need to go to the nether, I did make the diamond pickaxe, and I know exactly where I can find obsidian. Ah yes, let's hope we end up something, I mean somewhere, that we don't die instantly. Here we go! Alright, wow, ooh! We seem to be in a crimson for- and a warp for- oh my goodness. Ah, uh, okay, that's pretty cool. Both together. Oh, that's epic. Okay, we need exactly that. Quartz, that's where we came here for. We need to find another fortress as well. Uh, that's gonna be interesting. Where could that possibly be? Don't mind if I take some of that shroom light. Okay, never mind. I don't take that shroom light. So I will be collecting all the quartz that I possibly can find and make my way to a nether fortr fortress. I just wonder exactly where it could be. And I will bring you guys back once I'm there, because this might take a while. So uh, I had pillared myself all the way to the top, but then I fell off, so I had to basically do it all over again and oh hello i don't need you what i want is a is a blaze you're not allowed to see me do i have blocks i've got nether wood block and i've got wood, wood block i used up my my nether rack for the pillar up all the way here um hmm, wait a minute maybe i can do a thing oh no he's coming you don't see me. We need to run. <gasps> Ooh, blaze! This is going to be fun. Not really. Run! All right. So I managed to 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 run. So over, he's over there somewhere. I do hear the oh, the blaze are like right over there. Uh, there's another one of those peeps, and all I need is one blaze. Oh no, he's coming closer. You stay there, sir. I don't want any trouble. Oh. I also don't want to be set on fire. Now, this is gonna take this is gonna to gonna be something. Okay, we go for it, we go for it. Ow, 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 ow. Grab you, grab you. Ah, okay, run! Run, 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 run. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got a blaze! We've got a blaze thingy. Now I need to run like a maniac. All the way back. It's a good thing I still have my other pickaxe. Or else this would have been a disaster. Uh, let's take, uh, let's go back. Woohoo! Oh, hold up. Ah, yes. All right, see you at home. All right, last bit of zinc in there. And, uh, oh, wait, I need something flammable. And here, have some food. There you go. And does this work? 
I hope it does. Let's make some brass. Right, so now that we have the brass, I have made uh, all the contraptions that I need, except for the water wheel that will power all of it. So let's just start with the redstone underneath. As we can see, I already have a hole here. And that should give me everything I need. So here needs to become 10 of these. And then needs to be 10 of these over here. You go there. And you go there. I believe it's what's going to be around 10 ticks. And now we need to put down the... Uh, what's it called? Let me see here. Frequency 1 and that's frequency 2. Exactly. And now we need to copy this thing with the exact frequency also up. And this should work once it's going. And now we place that one on there and grab the same frequency frequency one was the oak and frequency two was the birch all right and then uh is that wait, wait is that with an empty hand like that no uh like that and it goes on and this goes also on and off nice that means that is working so what we now need to do is make a contraption that goes like that but first i have another contraption i need to make downstairs all right peeps after hours of gathering materials and making all that stuff oh my goodness you have no idea how long it takes to test everything out if it works it finally does so here are the machines this is for oak and that's for birch just to make it go faster for each uh different wood type so as you can see there are like uh, three saws in total on each thing. Uh, this is to make the stripped logs and that is to make stripped logs that will turn to an, into planks. As you can see here, here's the logs. There we've got the stripped oak logs and there we have the planks. In that way, it's just automated, even though manually I have to uh, put it in there. And with these hoppers, there are barrels on top where I can also put them in so I don't really have to go here to constantly just drop them off and i hope that's enough storage for a while right then we have here a link that makes sure that it's turned off just in case if any lag spikes are happening then uh that will save it hopefully this is what's underneath this makes everything turn goes there over there it goes up and now that we're up, you can see that the saw is finally working. So now it looks like the log uh, is being sawn in half. Even though, it, of course, doesn't really happen. This here is the switch that turns it on and off. Even though that's now off, but the machines are now working. And this is the water wheel that makes everything happen. From the saw going up and down and the machines underneath. Except for the log. Because that's just a minecart. Uh, oh, these are the barrels. It's particularly these two. So these are just for, um, what's it called? You know what? I think it would be nice if that one goes like this. Yeah, right. So right now I just need to find something, to, a way to, uh, to tell myself exactly which barrel is for which log. Or else I'm going to have a problem and the machines won't work. And yeah, problems happen. So I'm actually very happy with how the how it turned out. I really like how this looks. And then of course we have here the storage. I do know that I still need to build the house, but I think I'll do that another time because that project over there took a very long time. And right now there are still some finishing touch finishing touches touching, I don't know, words do because we have here an armor stand with a hook thingy trap by a hook i believe and we need to make something special i believe this is how you make a book right yeah that's how you make a book and i don't know what the right thing is oh there you go a book and quill S type something random sign and then we're gonna call it statues i hope i did it correctly boom and now we've got statues does it work no what? I made a mistake. Oh no, I need to make a new one now. 
All right, I just went in and out of my world again, and now it uh, works. And this is the amazing thing, and I love this so much. Check target. Okay, that's exactly what's going on. We want uh, gravity off and show arms. You cannot trigger this objective yet. Wait, what? Show arms. Oh, there we go. And now apply gravity. No. Okay, there we go. And grab an X. Put it in there. Uh, yes, I believe that was the case, right? There you go. I always wondered how some people like I've seen it before. And thanks to Zombie Cleo who has a tutorial on this with this data pack. I will leave a link down below to the tutorial and where I got the data pack from. And I am so happy with this. I just love it. Like those small details that we can just put in our world like a hanging axe. So I just come here, grab the axe. If I'm done, I just hang it up again. Amazing. And then of course, we have to, uh, we have to place another one. We have to place another one. Oh, you're a bit turned, mate. I think I need to actually... Uh, can I change position? There we go. I need to, uh, I think, do that again. And... Boom! There we go! Now we have an axe inside, stuck inside of a trunk. Once I've got all the materials in Minecraft, I'm gonna decorate this world. It's gonna be insane. Oh, I love this so much. Just those tiny details. Yes, I am so happy with how this turned out. I really love that everything is working. And excuse you? Why you do this to me? And uh, I, I really need to plan out all the other lumber mills that I'm gonna make or that I wanted to make. Because with everything that I needed for this, it's gonna take a long time. But hey, it is worth it. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Once again, I will put in the description the... <coughs> I will put in the, uh, the links towards the tutorial of Zombie Cleo and to the data pack. It's very awesome. You need to check it out. And I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want, you can like and subscribe. Really appreciate that. And it also took a very long time to make, so if you do, it tells me that you liked it, which is amazing. You can click there or there for other videos to watch, and I'll see you in another one. Bye-bye!